Hello and welcome everyone to this lecture of Company Law. In this edition of Company Law, we are going to cover section 134 and provisions related to financial statement and board report. This section I will cover in two parts. First, I will cover the provisions of financial statement in the first part, and in the second part, I will cover board's report. And there will be additional lecture which I will be put on YouTube, which will be related to director's responsibility statement. Okay, so without any further ado, let's start the provisions related to financial statement under section 134. Now, before un understanding the provision of section 134, let us understand the process which is covered under this section. So the process is that company will be con continuing with its operations throughout the year and recording its transactions under the financial statement. Now, once the financial statement is prepared at the end of the year, it has to be signed by the board of directors before it is submitted to the auditors for the auditor's report. Okay, so the signing of the financial statement has to be before the submission to the auditors and it has to be signed by whom? By the board of directors. We'll understand the provisions as to who can actually sign on behalf of the board of directors in the further part of this lecture. Now, once the signing by the board of directors is done, it is submitted to the auditors. The auditors will then in that case will audit the financial statement and provide a audit report. This audit report has to be attached to the financial statement. After which the board of directors will prepare a board report and which also will be attached to the financial statement. So the financial statement will be con including the audit report, the board report, and then thereafter it will be placed before the AGM for approval by the shareholders. I hope this process is clear to you first of all. Now once the process is clear, this particular provision is very very simple. So let us go through the provision. Section 134 speaks that financial statement will, obviously it will include the con consolidated financial statement also, which if the company has subsidiaries or joint ventures or associate companies. So the financial statement and consolidated financial statement, it has to be approved by the board of directors before they are signed and submitted to the auditors for their report. Once it is signed by the board of directors and submitted to the auditors, the auditor will then uh, will then conduct their audit uh, on the financial statement and provide the auditors report. This auditor report has to be attached to every financial statement. So this part is clear. Now after the audit report is received, the board report is prepared by the board of directors, which will contain the matters which are specified in, in this provision, which I will be covering in the next lecture. And it will also include director's responsibility statement. So this director responsibility statement, I will prepare a separate lecture for that because there are questions which are directly asked upon direct director's responsibility statement also. Okay, now all these documents, financial statement, board report, audit report, that will then be laid down before the before the company in the annual general meeting. Okay, now the next point is that the signed copy of this financial statement along with the consolidated financial statement has to be circulated, issued and published along with the auditor's report, the uh, board report and if there are any notes which are uh, a part of the financial statements to the stakeholders okay so let us go through the provisions now the important part is who on behalf of the board is authorized to actually authenticate the financial statement authenticate means sign the financial statement so the persons who are authorized are first of all the chairperson of the company if he is authorized by the board of directors if authorized by board of directors if he is not authorized if he is not authorized that in that case at least two directors have to sign it at least two directors have to sign it of which out of these two directors one of which has to be a managing director okay now second point is out uh, the second person to sign is the ceo third is the cfo and fourth is the company secretary so authentication of financial statement will be done by the chairperson if authorized by the board of directors if not authorized by the board of, board of directors then in that case at least two directors have to sign it of which one has to be an managing director additionally will require it to be authenticated or signed by the ceo 
CFO and the company secretary. I hope this part is clear. This is an important part. This is an important part. Okay. Now the second part, the second part is saying about auditor's report shall be attached to every financial statement. And the third part is saying about signed uh, copy of every financial statement, including the consolidated financial statement has to be issued, circulated or published along with the copy of any notes, auditor's report and board report. I hope this part is clear. So this is what is covered under section 134 with regards to financial statement. This lecture will be covering the board report part. And afterwards in the third part of this lecture, we will be covering the director's responsibility statement also. I hope everybody has understood things. If you have understood this lecture very clearly, please give your feedback on the comment section, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed to the channel. Thanks a lot.